So finally, we are in the last tutorial on this series of Spring Boot Time Leap Java MySQL tutorial. So it's all in one. So we've come this far, um, but we just need to tidy up a bit because we need to like move this uh, username to the other end, to the right side. We need to put some navigation bar. We need to just clean up this page so that it looks like a professional page. So if you've come this far, uh, please subscribe if you've not subscribed. And also, if you have something you miss, please go back and look at it. So this is a website. This is 29. This lesson 29 has no uh, text, only videos. Only video, this video I'm making now. So the easiest way to tidy up this page, to add a navigation bar, is to go to the Bootstrap website, because you use Bootstrap to add a navigation bar. And then we copy a navigation bar template that we can use for this. So let's go to Bootstrap. So if you go to Bootstrap, uh, I'll show you exactly where to get some good navigation bar. So we got, just go to examples here. Uh, just go down, then look for this. This is a simple one. You can try out other ones. So go to this one. Uh, the easiest thing, I, what I normally do is just right click on it and just go to the page source. Uh, what you can do is, because we already have our JavaScript, we have Bootstrap set up, so we just need the code. So the code is from this place, navbar. Maybe I'll just make this a little larger so that you can see. So we have from this name here all the way to the other name. This is a closing name. So let's just copy it and paste it right there in our page. So I'm going to go back to our page. And I'm going to go to the home page. The home page should be in uh, SRC main resources. So uh, static template. Okay. So here, so I'm going to just paste it just below the just below the the welcome. So I'm going to paste it. Just paste it there. Paste it, save it, and then let's view it to see how it looks like. So I'm going to just rerun this application and let's see how it looks like. Then we just tidy up a bit and then we we, we just wrap up this class. So let's see. All right, so I, I, I think I need to just click here and just say restart. Okay, so somehow I need to go from here. So runners, spring boot up. Okay, great. So, again, I'll use this opportunity to thank you for coming this far. By now, you should have learned a number of things. Spring Boot, JavaScript, a little bit of MySQL, uh, jQuery, and a few other things. So let's go back to look at our page to see how it looks like. So go to student list and just refresh this page. And we can see that we have a navigation bar right now, but some things are not right. So let's just go and correct them. The first thing I'd like to do is to locate this uh, where we have the search. So I'm going to remove the search and put the put in the username uh, the username right there. And I'm going to do some shifts so that the caption will come down. So if I if I go to this page, so I'm going to let me just kind of collapse this so that I can have a little more room. All right, so. I'm going to first um, let me take out this form here. So I'm going to put the username, which is this. I'm going to put this, copy or copy it, and I'm going to paste it. Uh, hmm, I just forgot where I took it from. So let me just undo. Okay, so. So we have here, so this UL, I don't really know what it stands for. So maybe I'll just put everything inside this form. Okay, so, um, so I put it inside the form. Permit me to use LI, so basically I'm going to check if I can reuse, uh, well I can just delete it right now. Okay. So I want to use li li name item. Maybe I can use uh, li name item. So 
So I'm going to copy this color in the right hand and apply it to this place. Okay. So here I'm going to say slash li, good. Okay, so I can actually take out this form type from here because it's not necessary. Um, all right, so let's see. So now I, I would like you to just make some other changes yourself. So I'm going, I'm going to preview this page. So if I relaunch the page, for some reason it doesn't relaunch. So let me just right click and say runners, spring boot up. So let's see what happens. Um, okay, so there's one thing I would like to show you finally before I go. So let's go to the page. So I'm going to refresh this page. So you can see the welcome displays at this point. So, but something is hidden at this point. So let's go back and make some changes. So, um, all right. So, uh, okay. So we have, okay. So let me shift this a bit downwards so let me just shift this a bit downwards so i'm going to just come here before i have list of students i just put gear 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 and i also want to use the main uh path so the main the main uh class so i get it from here so you can see this main here so i'm going to use it so normally you wrap all the content of your page in or uh, inside the main. So I'm going to take it, copy it, and let's come here. Uh, I'm going to paste this right here. Okay. So inside this main, I'm just going to take every other thing I have and put inside the main. Let's cut this. I'm going to put it inside the main. So let me just put it in here. Okay, so, um, so, take out this. So instead of calling it main, just change it to D, D, okay, and then go down, change it to D. All right, so we have it, and finally, I'm going to, mm -hmm, so we have this H5, so let me just say style equal to, so let me just apply some custom style so that you know how to apply custom style. So style is equal to uh, fonts or style is equal to color, color uh, black, uh, sorry, white, white has to be F -F 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 -F, right? That is white. Um, so yeah, so let's use a D tag. Okay, so this you can play around. There is no particular rule that applies here. So you can just play around and see what you have. So I'm going to save this page and I'm going to relaunch this app to see what happens. So just run as Spring Boot app. So let's see what happens right now. And if everything goes fine, we will wrap up this class. So let's go to refresh the page. Okay, let's see, seems it's not running yet. Okay, so I need to shut down and I need to relaunch, so right click. So run as Spring Boot up. So let's refresh the page. Yeah, so this is what we want to achieve. So we have list of students, we have the nav bar, you can change up the text in the nav bar, and it's, it's centralized now, as you can see. And we can have, you have the username is at the other extreme. So what have we learned so far? We've learned about um, Spring Boot, how to use Java, how to use Timely. We learned about Timely here, we learned about H2 Console, 
We also learned about how to write bits of code in MySQL using MySQL command line. Unfortunately, I'm not, I wasn't able to show you the MySQL workbench, but you can play around with it as well. We learned about uh, how to use jQuery, how to use Bootstrap to centralize and design our navigation bar, how to use Timely to display the username. We learned all of this. So again, this is the this is the procedure. We have the step all the way to 29. So we have 29 steps. Please go through all of these. If you miss out something, don't fail to tell me by leaving a comment for me. And now the next steps are this. Now we have Spring Security. How do we log in and log out user? Another thing we might also be talking about is how do we um, how do we create an enterprise application? So how do we use microservices to connect different applications together? So there, there's a whole new world of things to learn in Java and Spring Framework. So I'd like to thank you for coming this far. And please uh, write me, let me know what you'd like me to do. I'd also like to congratulate you and also wish you all the best on your learning and also on your programming career, or software engineering career, or application development career, anything you like to do. I'd like to wish you all the best and we'll see you in the next, in the next series of lessons.